I want to teach you what I use for habit tracking when I embark on my 90 day outcomes. By no way am I saying that I invented habit tracking or even the categories I set goals in. I set goals in my body being balanced business. This is basically my physical health and well being, my mental, spiritual, emotional well being. So my being is my mindset, myself personally, my balance is my relationships. In my businesses, my finance, my career, my business, so on and so forth. I set goals in each of those categories, but the biggest key of setting goals is understanding the path to get to that goal. You can say, I want to achieve X, Y, Z, but what does it actually take to get there? What are the actions and the habits that the person who achieves that does on a daily and weekly basis? And that's where this comes into play, a habit tracker. It's a very simple way to kind of use dopamine to your advantage. Every time I mark a red X on a habit, I get a dopamine response. I get a happy feeling that I did something good and I want that again, that reward sensation. But instead of getting addicted to bad habits, we're gonna get addicted to success by creating habit trackers on a whiteboard that you see every single day that are in line with what you need to do in order to get to your goals and you're gonna mark red X's on those box every time you accomplish it. So this is an easy example. For my relationships, maybe I set the goal of date nights. This is 10 boxes that gives me two weeks of no date nights just for a little buffer room to make sure I can still accomplish my goal. But 10 date nights in 12 weeks, three months, 90 days. So I have 10, bo 10 boxes. Every time I mark a red X, that's after I do a date night. Training sessions, maybe I wanna get more into strength training, I wanna build muscle, I wanna burn fat. That's a habit I need to do to get to my 20 pound weight loss goal or my three pound muscle growth goal or my new PR goal, whatever your fitness goal is, you have to have habit trackers in line with the actions and the habits that lead to the goal you are after. So what do you do? You draw a bunch of black boxes around the training sessions and every time you accomplish a training session, red marker, mark it off. You see it every day. Food logs, same exact thing. Every day you do a food log, you mark it. So for me personally, I have 12 date nights. I have three play dates with my daughter. I have aerobic cardio sessions. I have training sessions. I have mobility sessions. I have podcasts aired and published so I can reach my download goal for my business. I have about eight different sets of habit tracking boxes, but they're all things I care about and they're things that will lead to the goals I have set with my body, my mind, my relationships, and my business. So if you wanna get addicted to success, see better results in all categories of your life, set a goal for 90 days from now. It's long enough to see big changes, but it's short enough for you to make a real big push and actually see the light at the end of the tunnel. And then when you have those goals, figure out how you're gonna reach those and what you need to do on a daily and weekly basis to become the person you need to become in order to reach those goals, create habit trackers out of those. Start stacking habits, marking red X's, and I guarantee you'll be consistently addicted to success.